haven't really had the chance to get out here as much as I want to, but I set aside like an hour today just so I could get out here, play around with the bow some more. This is going to be my third time shooting it. I ordered a new sight the other day. That's probably going to be getting here tomorrow. I am being that guy that looks at these big popular bow hunters and kind of goes off of what they use, which I don't think anything's wrong with that. If they're getting these crazy shots, then why not try to mimic them? Cam Haynes uses the Fast Eddie, and I decided to take it one step up and go ahead and get the hog father so that's coming tomorrow until then i'm using this guy i forgot what it was called first shots of the day 20 yards i'm i'm learning i need to adjust my sights a little bit because i'm aiming for that little white dot down there and i know i still got a lot to learn let's try another group i bought six arrows and i've already lost one of them which i guess isn't too bad because my quiver only holds five so there's my five arrows <laughs> i have no freaking idea where that other arrow went i can't find it anywhere in there john and i are gonna have to get a weed eater and a lawnmower or something because the pumpkins are back there and we can't check on them because it's so overgrown and there's briar patches everywhere so we're gonna have a good pumpkin gang gang weed eating video coming up soon probably let's shoot some more um i'm grouping them pretty good but i don't know why i'm shooting high and to the right these three are almost in the same exact spot i figured out something i was doing though is i was anticipating the shot kind of like how people who fire a gun for the first time do you know what i'm talking about where people go to fire their gun and they know it's going to recoil and they anticipate it so they push it forward i was doing that with the bow and i realized i was doing that before i released i was kind of going forward with it instead of just pressing down on the trigger and letting it fly. Third set, please arrows, fly true and don't shoot my favorite vlog camera. Still shooting a little high and to the right. I felt myself anticipate the shot for this one, so that's what happened there. Fourth set. That's my 20 meter tree right there. And check it out on the fourth set. Bam! I was aiming for right there this time. So I know where that sight needs to be adjusted. I'm probably not even going to fool with this optic I have on it right now though. Because I'll sh I should be getting the Hogfather tomorrow. I think that's good for today. I want to do more. But it's getting towards workout time. So I'm going to go knock that out. You know what 70% of my diet consists of since i'm trying to do another bulk thing are your boobs okay oh oh hey oh that's hair that's what you're doing Haley purpled her hair more i purpled my hair yeah i blew my hair you blew your hair you did it looks pretty no no a huge majority of my vlogs are just me petting the animals while my meat is cooking let me tell you guys about something that i ordered the other day <laughs> from twin peaks ingredients protein puffs I thought they were going to be pretty rad. I was like, oh, cool. They got tons of protein in them. 21 grams of protein in a cup. Protein. <laughs> and, uh, you know, cheese puffs with protein. That's awesome. So imagine if you found a dead skunk's butthole on the side of the road in the summertime and a dog had thrown up on it. That's what these taste like. <laughs> While my meat is simmering, I must tell you all, I've been doing more cardio than I have in the past in eight, eight years, eight years. I ran five miles yesterday and I ran about four today. I don't know what else more to say than like, I'm kind of proud of myself for that. And I'm going to increase it and keep lifting heavy. I always squish the grease out though, so there's not a ton of fat in it. And then I put tin foil right there so I can just throw it away and not pour it down the drain and screw my pipes all up. Why can't I talk tonight? I think I'm having a stroke. I thought you were explaining that to me. I was like, I, I know that. <laughs> You know that I do that? Oh my god, I definitely knew that you did that. Because <laughs> I eat this like four times a day. I ate chicken for a long time and I just got super tired of chicken. I know a lot of red meat isn't good for you. It tastes a hell of a lot better with some Worcestershire sauce in it. What? Worcestershire. And we got that curry sauce. Dude, I didn't think a sauce this good was available at Food Lion. This stuff right here is bomb as hell. It's Tattoo Hot Sauce Scotch Bonnet Curry, and it's pretty damn good in my diet of red squished meat. Check out what I got in the mail today, a Leon Lush vinyl figure. Look, it's him holding Nigel from this place called U2s. I need to hit them up and see if they can make one of me. That would be pretty rad. 
I'm putting you, let's see, this is gonna go on top of Mac and beside my Cyberpunk 2077 visor from, uh, from E3. You can go right there, Leon. Sweet. Nugget, how are you today? Good morning. Speaking of Leon, you know what's really cool? This firearms manufacturing company called Triarch has invited me to go shoot guns out of a helicopter in Texas in early October. And I've invited Leon, and Leon's coming with me. I've also invited Demolition Ranch, and he's coming with me too. It's going to be pretty sweet. They're offering a deal right now where if you buy a Triarch pistol or rifle, they're pricey, mind you, but they're super, super amazing, very, very precisely manufactured weapons. They're good guns, is what I'm saying. They're doing an offer right now, though, where if you buy a pistol or a rifle from them, you can come to that course. So I'd check that out. I'll leave a link to that in the description in the comments below. It's going to be pretty awesome. I guess I could give you guys a skate shop update. It's going good here. I don't know if I showed you guys we hung some skateboards up there yet. You might have seen it in the last vlog, but I didn't point it out. We opened the online store, 50skateshop.com, and sold a ton of stuff, so we had to make another big Eastern order. And I always love getting orders in because it's like Christmas every time we get them in. Tyler places all the orders now. He knows what we need, so I don't know what we're getting. So it makes it even more fun to open all this stuff up and see what all we got. So we got a bunch of trucks, decks, some completes. I know we got some longboards in. Got that Jamie Foy big boy deck right there. That's one of my favorite ones we got in. We're still just trying to get everything organized in here. Like for instance, this is some of our stuff going out today and we're buying more shelves and you know, just, just kind of learning as we go. Kind of like how Matt did with Bunker. You just decide you want a business and you open it and you figure it out. and. If you work hard, it probably will succeed. And it's going pretty good, despite a bunch of people in the comments being fuckheads about this. There's one guy, I should just print this comment out and frame it here in the shop. He said, Donut, I love you, but I can't wait for this to fill. I am gonna print that out and frame it, actually. I told you I'd bring you in to get the burger. I'm so happy. And we got the burger. This is the Improper Pig special this week. It's a mushroom Swiss burger. It's just very mushroomy and Swissy. It's so good. I got the green beans with it. Kaylee got the sweet potato fries. It's super good. You said that with disdain. What? Sweet potato fries? Kaylee got fries. Kaylee got fries. Hello, welcome to the third day of this daily vlog. I'm off to kind of a late start today, but I woke up and I saw two things that are very interesting. One, my video about skating a mini ramp was flagged for manual review, not suitable for all audiences. That doesn't make any sense. And two, Hot Ones released their lineup for season 10, and it looks like it's shot in 240p, but right here, number 10, it looks like they have a last dab. Good thing that I am only three doors down from Ed Curry at the skate shop, so I'm gonna go up there and see if Ed's up there and try and score me a bottle of that sauce before season 10 even comes out. Also on today's agenda, I'm gonna try to find some more of these practice tips for the Rage Arrows, because I'm gonna be using these hunting eventually, and these practice tips are the same weight and like have the same fill, so you can get a, get a fill down for when you shoot them. We're gonna go up to Cabela's and try to find some of these. Nugget, stop eating plastic! Don't talk back to me. Oh my god, you know what I just noticed about the last app that I bought the other day? This is the Reaper edition, it's not even the Pepper X edition. But we need to make a thumbnail. So let's thumbnail this up. Um, here's what I wanna do. I wanna act like, I wanna act like I'm, I'm looking for something, but I also want this to be in here. But I have to hold the camera with one hand. So we're gonna figure out how to do this. I'm gonna teach you guys how to make some thumbnails. This is photography <laughs> YouTube tip one. Always face away from the light because that's the best place to be for the best shot. All right, we're gonna get this white wall in the background, right? Ooh, there's a candle right here. We're gonna set this on this candle. Perfect, perfect. oh no, oh shit. The candle's just wide enough to where it won't fit on. We're gonna turn the candle upside down. Yeah, and then we're gonna set the camera on top of it. And then we're gonna put that right there. Here's my thumbnail, watch, watch. Chair. No, no, this side, this side. What looks like I'm searching for something? Like that? You know what I need? I need a pair of binoculars. 
I don't have any binoculars. I have a rangefinder. That wouldn't look right if I pointed a rangefinder at the Holland's bottle. I don't know. I'm just going to do a bunch of stuff. And then one of these, I'm going to make the thumbnail. It looks like I'm saluting it, though. Oh, this is a difficult thumbnail. Hey, if I, look, look, watch. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, I'm going to do this. Watch. This Demolition shirt's getting kind of tight on me. Hey, look what we got from Bunker Branding. Thanks, Matt and McKenna, for everything you do. Got a bunch of our 5-0 merch in because we sell this shit faster than anything else in the entire store. Dude, we got Wu-Tang trucks? I didn't even know we got Wu-Tang trucks. That's awesome. It's about time to start our arduous journey to the hot sauce store. So goes the journey. We made it. I couldn't get the triple X, but I managed to get the double X, the one that's got the the pepper X in it. They don't, chocolate they, pepper yeah, too. they chocolate pepper X. They already sold out of this and they're hooking me up with some reapers today, but soon, soon we're going to do the triple X. Yeah, I think next week. We'll Sweet. I also want to thank Bunker Branding for sending us our new shop mascot here. What's up little guy? Hunter about shipped him out. Did you come from Texas, my dude? He's like a gecko or something, isn't he? He looks like a gecko. His hands do. Let's see if we can get a close-up shot of our new friend here. Look at him. He's cool. All right, new uh, new job for today. Let's uh, let's set this guy up with a house here at Five O Skate Shop. Sportsman's Guide is like my sugar daddy, but I can't walk to Sportsman's Guide or drive there and get what I want. So back at Cabela's again. Still open to sponsorship opportunities, Cabela's. Hint, 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 hint. <laughs> Got some shorts since I'm running out of shorts. And I got some of these Rage practice heads to throw on my arrows and practice with those. My new sight is coming in today. I'm so excited. This is pretty funny. Hunter and I were sitting here trying to figure out what exactly we could feed this little guy. And a fly landed right in front of Hunter. So Hunter smacked it with his hand and we squished it up some with the scissors. And we're going to give him the squishy parts of the insects because it said they eat insects more than anything, but he's tiny. So hence the squishing up and the little guts everywhere. Hopefully that'll hold him off until I can get John and go to the pet store tonight and grab some stuff for him. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys this in an earlier vlog, but a guy named Cobb, who's a tattoo artist, made this for me. Some of the coolest artwork we have. I'd love to turn that into a board one day. But he also sent me this. It's an old school skateboard, and it's like our open and close sign. It's got 5-0 up there. And it says four donut and you can see his instagram right there in cob we trust check him out he's awesome this is super sweet we're just trying to figure out a good way to hang it up came back up here to pucker butts for something and they just got some more chocolate plague in they were all sold out these are fresh from ed's place and i bought a few of them and we're going to be giving them away chocolate plague i believe is actually hotter than the last dab any of the last dabs i don't know about this new triple x one though we're going to try that one next week they said they're gonna have some in. Hopefully I can be the first YouTuber to try those and make a video about them. That would be pretty sweet. I found this and I know it says premium desert kit. I don't know if those little house geckos are really desert, but it says I should keep their cage a little warm online. And this comes with a lot of the stuff we need. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get this for them and then throw some like trees and other stuff in there. Problem is gonna be finding something that can fit in his mouth because according to what it says online whatever he eats can't be wider than his head and all this is for like bigger stuff so i'm gonna have to just like try to find the smallest thing that i can we found some mini millworms and some of these might be small enough for him i think that's the smallest thing we're gonna find these are live too i know it's a different species but one day one day he will be this big got some moss Got this cork tree thing that he can hide under or climb in. Got this for keeping his stuff moist. Got a little bitty bowl. Got my worms. John picked out a little tree. And then we got our big desert set. But you know, we're probably not gonna need all the stuff in there because I don't think they're desert reptiles. What do you think of little little man? <laughs> He's super cute, isn't he? Kaylee thought he was big. I didn't know yeah, I Yeah, you can't really tell from the pictures. Picture. No, look, like for size. Look, oh my god. That's how small he actually is. Here we have little man's mansion set up. We have the log, some moss, his swimming pool, his tree, his second home, probably a summer home, and a police helicopter over here to hold the lining down. 
and to keep him safe. All right, little man, you ready to go home to your mansion? I'm probably gonna have every lizard expert in the world in the comments on this one. You can't do that, you can't do this. Me, me, me. That's plastic. That's plastic. Shake him out, there you go. There he goes. Oh. Bam. He's going to the police helicopter first. He's trying to escape. They got kind of warm since I brought them home and they're moving. Ew, I'm gonna try to find some of the smallest ones in here and throw them in there for this guy. I don't know where he went. I think he's inside the, uh, the corkwood thingy right here. He's in there somewhere. Anyways, the contest that we're gonna do is you tell us what you want his last name to be. Matt Carricker already gave us his first name. It's gonna be Bunker and then we need a last name for him. First place is going to get Chocolate Plague, signed by Smokin' Ed Curry and one Carolina Reaper. Second place is going to get the Classic Hot Sauce and one Carolina Reaper. And then third place is going to get three Carolina Reapers. So in the comments below, let us know what you think, Bunker, wherever he is, what his last name should be. I just got my new Hogfather Optic in. I'm gonna put that on my bow later, but this vlog, it's gonna be over for today. Help us out and help me pick out a last name for Bunker. Everyone please have a fantastic day.